Hey everyone, let's talk about how to find derivatives using the difference quotient. So I have that rule written on the board for us right here. So to do this, we're going to want to take the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So f of x plus h just means our regular function f of x, but wherever there's an x in it, we put x plus h instead. So let's look at this example here f of x equals the square root of x plus 1. So let's find this derivative using the difference quotient. So I'll set it up for us. So we'll get the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h. So that's going to be the square root of x plus h plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 1, since that's just f of x, all over h. Now we can't evaluate the limit straight away because since we have h in the denominator, we'll have a zero there and we're not allowed to divide by zero. So I think the first best step for this problem would be to multiply by the conjugate so we can get rid of these radicals in the numerator. So let's multiply by square root x plus h plus one plus square root x plus one because that's the conjugate, just changing the sign there over the same thing x plus h plus 1 plus square root x plus 1. So we're just multiplying by 1, therefore not changing the value of this limit. Now we can simplify, and we're going to get the limit as h goes to 0 of these two multiplied together. So since they're the same, the square roots are just going to cancel, and we're going to get x plus h plus 1. Then we have the middle two and the outer two. Now notice that these bases are the same that we're multiplying together, but for this one it's negative because we have minus x plus 1 times this, and for the outer one we have plus x plus 1 times the same thing. So those are going to cancel away and I'm not even going to write them. And then finally we have last, so it's minus root x plus 1 plus root x plus 1. So this is just going to leave us with minus x plus 1 because the square roots cancel away. Minus 1 times plus 1 is minus 1. And this is going to be all divided by h times square root x plus h plus 1 plus square root x plus 1. Now we can do some simplification. So we can rewrite this, distributing that minus sign, and we'll get the limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h plus 1 minus x minus 1, distributing that sign there, all divided by h root x plus h plus 1 plus root x plus 1. Notice we have x minus x plus 1 minus 1. So this is just going to leave us with an h in the numerator. So we'll have the limit as h goes to 0 of h over h times all this stuff again, plus square root x plus 1. OK, perfect. Now, notice that we have an h in the numerator and an h in the denominator that's being multiplied by all this stuff. So these guys are going to cancel. And we're just going to be left with the limit as h goes to 0 of 1, because when they cancel, we're left with 1 over square root x plus h plus 1 plus square root x plus 1. Now we can evaluate this limit. When h goes to 0, this just becomes the square root of x plus 1. So this just becomes 1 over root x plus 1 plus root x plus 1, which equals 1 over 2 square root x plus 1. And that is going to be our derivative using this method, which, if you know the power rule and you double check using the power rule, you'll get the same answer. So I wanted to show a little bit more of a difficult example using this rule, because I feel like with this, if you do a simple example, when you get to a problem involving a square root or something weird, you're not going to know what to do. So you got to get creative and do things like multiply by the conjugate and stuff like that. So I hope this helped clarify the idea for you, and thanks for watching. If you thought this video helped, 
please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.